Hello, I'm Virginia, and I'm an independent stamping demonstrator from Edmonton, Alberta. And today I want to show you how I made these cards. A friend asked me to show her how I made the cards with stencil background. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, what you need is your card, which is cut at three and three quarter by five, uh, and a backing piece that is four by five and a quarter, and then a basic white um, card base, which is half a piece of basic white, um, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And I've also used the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. Um, I've used the stamp and the leaves from the Celebration catalog, and it is um, free with a $120 order from either the annual catalog or the mini catalog. And the stencil I'm using is from Stampin' Up. It's um, this one up here. It's called Decorative Masks, and there's two different sets, and it's the first one up here. There's three stencils in the, in the package. And um, so that's Let's get going here. So I'm using black memento ink. And you take the ink. I take the ink to the stamp on a large stamp. Put it down this way, I guess. That looks nice. And then I cover it with a mask that you can cut them from um, that's the right one, yeah. This is the corner I want I'm more concerned with. You can cut them from like post-it note, um, but I'm using um mask masking magic from Gina K Designs. You can use them over and over again up to a certain point anyway. So then, now that that's done, then we'll put the leaves down here in the corner. Take that off. There we go. And put the lid back on my mental. I'm going to use soft, soft, soft succulent for the background. it up this time. Yeah. And fasten it down with some washi tape. You could use painter's tape, I guess. I happen to have this handy. You can tell I've been using this today. I've had tried a few times to make this video and it just something happened each time. It didn't work out right. Not the way I liked. So maybe this time we'll be lucky. Okay, there we go. Use the washi tape to anchor that down. And the blending brush. Then, let's get this in the screen here. What I like to do is start in the bottom corner, go along the bottom, just a nice circular motion, and make it darker at the bottom, and around the flower, or the image, And then, as you go up, don't add any more ink to it. Just keep going up as far as you want. And I sort of fade out and leave the upper right-hand corner empty for the um, for the sentiment. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, nice. Get another piece of paper here from somewhere. A 
cover up that mess. There we go. I don't know if that's any better or not. That's a wreck. Okay. Now, sentiment. Sorry, I had to move stuff. The last one I got, I had ink on the block and I got it over the card. There. I'm using the You Inspire Me stamp from the same Delgadelia Dahlia stamp set. It's down here. And I'm doing it in black mento. And up here, look, it's there already. Clean my ink pad off. There. There we go. That's better. Last time I tried it, I had a line right across there. Yeah, that looks good. Now then, throw your ink around, why don't you? I didn't cut the paper right, so I had to tear it apart. Yeah, it's right this time. There we go. And to finish it off, we'll use put some. whatever they are, rhinestones on, and put it there, I guess, there we go, there, it is done, you can see the sparkle, a little bit, okay, so move that out of the way, don't need that, so if you are, would like to buy that, you know, I'd like to have that delicate daily stamp set. I would love it if you would buy through my shop. And my, the address is here. It's Virginia Hodgins one dot And I'll put the link down below the YouTube video when we're done. And I'll put the link to the Master Magics as well down there as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.